Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In previous video, we made an example of a readable dump a PDF file to demonstrate the structure of PDF file, which is a collection of objects. And in the second video, PDF video, we made an example how to find the PDF file of page object and the counting the page object to counting how many pages of a PDF files. In this short video, we are going to discuss decoding the stream object. Here is the one of previous videos the example. We made a readable dump of a PDF file and we did say specify this each PDF have many page object, like a page object is a type of page. And each page object which have the content, which means the object says object 6.0 is the content of the object. So the each content object have the length of the size, which followed by number, which is the length of the stream, and, uh, and has the filter, which is uh, indicate how this stream being compressed, which uh, so and the, the between the stream and the end stream is the stream. So in this uh, six point zero stream object, which the length is a three sixty five, which means this byte is total three sixty five bytes, and uh, after the end stream and the end object. So here we create a program. We write a program is main. This program is we take the one argument, which is a PDF file. After we get the PDF file, we instantialize the file object, which is the input binary. If we are not a, if we successfully open this file, we make a loop. Read buffer by buffer. This buffer is defined as one zero twenty four, and the, into the read buffer, and the read buffer is a defined the buffer size of memory, and the we reset, we read, and the we call the function process which read buffer, which in this particular example we just uh, pick up only object six point zero and try to decoding this this uh, stream. So the stream object it's stream down as we say to have a length in this is the integer and which is the Indian number byte from the beginning to the end of a st between stream and then the stream. And the filter is apply the process how stream have been compressed, decoded, or in between the stream and the end stream. So for this uh, flight and the filter, there's a table here in the page. It says uh, for the flight decoding, it means uh, decompress data encoded using the Z live deflight compression compression method. So it means with this particular filter indicate our byte is using Z lab compression method. So we have to use Z lab and compression method. So in order to use the Z lab and uh, we have to be include the zlib.h, which is we use in the zlib method. That's it. So in this particular example, we load just a 6.0 after we lo loaded and uh, in the object, and then we just uh, end of a loop, we close the file, and we print out the what we loaded from the PDF our PDF object. Usually we load into the file name and the object ID generation 
and the length of the byte and the, the filter of the compression method. And we have also, so let's try to see for the comp process read buffer method. So what we do, we first make two buffer, one called the in buffer, one called the working buffer, and we reset the in buffer, working buffer, we make a copy to our in buffer, and we looking, make a for loop for the i, which is the in buffer from beginning to the end of a buffer, and each time we find the line, if the end of line, then we add a line, we make a vector with our parse vector, and we split the working line. So we using the start talk, with talking is the space, slash t and slash n, we split the line, which we moved to the working buffer, and we save into the my parcel vector and if uh, we cannot make in parse vector is empty we just uh, reset the working buffer go continue and then we started looking for the point the six point obj this line and uh, if we find the object and the, you know the object the one before is the generation and another one is before is the iterator before is object id if object ID equals six, we go forward to starting objecting. Otherwise, we continue looking. When we start uh, objecting, we looking for lens and the filter, and we load into the lens how many lines of byte. We need, and uh, we then we looking for the streaming line, and we starting allocate the memory, which is the lens. We just parse from the from we read from file and then we memory setting, we move into the starting streaming. When we start the streaming, we are copy this uh, length of a byte into the memory we just allocated. And after we finished, we change to the finished copy. We're going to see the end copy. And then we're looking for the end streamline. And uh, so, after we, we change to the end stream and we're looking for the end object line and we change to the end object, we finish object. After we finish object, we break the loop, we just uh, end up reading file, we finish the, our loading object. So here is the object logger. So we're starting from the object line, we pass the lens filter, we're looking for the stream, we start a copy, we looking for the end stream and the end object, and then we finish loading all this data. So after we finish the loading and uh, we finish the loading, we you know break the loop, we close the file, we print our what we load, there is the object ID file name, generation, and uh, lens, and uh, filter, and the lots of bytes which loaded into memory of a pstream date location. So we just uh, making here, compile to see what we load is right or not. So let's uh, Save this, make clean, and then make this program compile. And uh, let's just uh, run this with the PDF file, which we have. So this says, okay, so we did a loaded 6.0 object, 3.6.5, flat decoding. Let's see our object. 6.0365 flight decoding and uh, of uh, streams. Now we try to see how to decompress streams. So
So now we see we decompress. So let's check the document. So this flight decoding, what that means? It means the decompressed state encoded using the ZLab compression method. So it is, this means our byte stream is compressed using the ZLab. So we're decoding, so we're using the ZLab to decode that. Yeah. In order to use the ZLab, we have to include the header file, the ZLab.h. And the method we use is is we first give the length of destination. We don't know how bigger after decompression, the de de decoding. And we know that before decoding the 365, so we just give one bigger number enough. And we allocate the memory for destination. And we reset the memory for the destination. And then we use the method called the uncompress function. This is give the four parameter. The destination pointer, destination point, destination length, and uh, the date location, which is the pointer of the stream date, and the length of the stream date. So after we come here, we got the print of the length of the date before, length of date after, and we print out the destination, how we decompressed. So let's and uh, make and uh, make recompile and uh, we just run this again. It's a gcc dot pdf. We redirect to a file called pdf.txt. So let's see what we got from this file. Okay, so we got the output, which is file gcc.pdf for the object 6.0. The stream length is uh, before is uh, 365. The compression method is a flat decard. And after decoding, the byte is uh, 716. And this is all the data after we decoded, which is a readable archive file. But this is the post script command. So in this short video, we are not going to explaining how to read a post script. But we just say for this should be the begin the text and the end text, and here should be the command for the font and the location and the direction, you know, rotation, blah 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 blah, and then. This is the word is uh, between the bracket is using the GNU compiler collection. So this should be the first line. Let's check our GCC PDF. So first line is using the GNU compiler collection. But this is a big font. So so this is the way how we decoding the this stream to this post script lines. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully it's useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.